Tag team back again. We have another summit sneak peek with one of our amazing presenters, Matt Hunsaker. Matt, thank you so much for joining me today and for being one of our esteemed speakers for the upcoming summit. No, thank you. So you have decades of experience in sales, business operations, and business management. And a world of, uh, in a world of needs and issues was known to you from your own business and those that you have worked with. There was a lot of confusion, a lot of noise around operations, and there simply needed to be better resources and tools to help simplify while still being flexible. And there were none quite like that when you were in those spaces. And so after years of development with your partner in coordination with operational needs, you made a solution that you and your clients had wished you all had. And that's what you're going to be sharing with us in your presentation for the Get Good at Business Summit, right? Yep, exactly. Love it. So your session is all about operations, how to make the most of your tools. And obviously, based on your, your bio there, right, years of experience in sales, business operations, and business management, that perfectly equips you to be able to develop a tool like you have and to also share how to make the most of the tools in the upcoming summit. So obviously we've touched on that a little bit, but why don't you share with us a little bit more about your background and your story of how you came to develop the tools and become the operations master that you are? Certainly. So in my various roles, I always was kind of like forced to have to deal with operational things. Like some things would just kind of break on, on their own. And so either people would sit on their hands or I'm just like, okay, let me figure out how we can get past this and actually get to work here right. and so all of the time I was kind of like being forced to get into that role like even one of my first jobs like we had someone that it, it was their specific job to get on that but I would always just like find some little work around and tell my superiors like here's something I figured out yeah which is operations in a nutshell right <laughs> like yeah Here's the thing we got to do, figure out how to do it and then systematize that. Yeah. So the way I kind of figured it out is there's kind of like levels to how, to like the simplicity or complexity of how operations is done. At the very baseline, there is how organized are you and how structured are things. Hmm. Like once you have that kind of figured out, like there's like, at least, you know what you're doing, you know, how to run your business. And then from there, the like second level of complexity is analyzing and doing research. Just kind of figuring out, okay, what here's what we are doing, but is that good? Yeah. Are there certain things that could be better? What about our competition? What like what are the possibilities? It's not necessarily acting on that, but at least you're figuring it out. Yeah. Well, and in your session description, you say, we'll talk about the issues that have faced businesses in operations, how it's affected them, and how to be successful in operations using the tools for success. So mm -hmm. I've got to say, I'm so excited about that. And obviously, operations and tools is, is very, uh, I'm going to say crunchy, right? Tangible. Uh -huh. We can wrap our arms around those subjects, which I love because this summit is all about making good on its namesake and getting good at business, which means it's not about theory. It is actually about action and real support and help for business owners in real time. Like same day, mm -hmm. here's here the presentation from you and have some steps to take as their next steps. So with that being said, and it's not theory, but it is tangible. Would you mind sharing a success story uh, that you have with a client or with your own business that really highlights what you'll be teaching us in the session? Something that was very like baseline was that I had one client who was he was very like old fashioned. He loved doing things basically by paper and doing things like as simply just like what he knew how to do. Yeah. And like I was talking with him about his processes. And one thing that he said he wished he had was like, I just want like I want more time focusing on what I want to do with the landscaping instead of all this like paperwork that I'm constantly doing. So I was like, OK, let me first understand how like what are the actual steps you do to operate your business and then I want to make it as relatable to you as much as possible because this is what you understand therefore I'm going to make it not something out on Mars something that you don't understand I want to make it relatable to you and so yeah. once I figured out okay here's how you kind of do it now I want to make this as easy as possible for you and 
as well as saving you a whole bunch of time. He said it would take him like two hours a day and then brought it down to about 30 minutes a day. Wow. I mean, that's a huge amount of savings in time for an entrepreneur week over day over day, week over week, month over month, year over year. So much time got getting back into getting good at business than mm -hmm. spending time doing processes that are time consuming yet necessary. I love yeah. that. I also think you highlight a really good, a really interesting point there, which is so needed, which is entrepreneurs. We just get going and then we're like, this is our process. Mm -hmm. And if somebody came in and said, okay, here, like do it this way. And it felt like it was on Mars. It felt like it was so far disconnected from what we knew that we'd go right back to what we're familiar with because it's faster than learning the new tool. And so I love that you're like, no, we don't set you up to have a new tool so that it can, so that you fail with it. We set you mm -hmm. up and the tool up in a way that makes sense for the business. Yeah. And speaking about tools that have like set people up to fail, like early on, what what was a big catalyst for me to get on this whole project in the first place was I was helping a, a friend with their business and they were doing things on, I think they had a WordPress website. They didn't have a CRM. They were just doing like spreadsheets and everything was as bare bones as possible. And so we were trying to figure out like what things will all connect to each other and ultimately like we figured out let's grab these let's grab this and we had spent so much time trying to just get them to work together that we didn't have the time to actually focus on developing the business yeah yeah and i mean tools can really make all the difference and that's mm -hmm. why we have o as part of the i move method right the o standing for operations because without solid operations you could have the best marketing in the world but you constantly are in that reactive mode and you're constantly trying to get ahead and you're putting out fires everywhere but operations help you get ahead save time be more efficient and operations with the use of great tools like you'll be telling us about is is the game changer yeah and like one of the first things i talk about in my presentation is like think about the roman empire one thing that made them the most successful at like the biggest government in the world of their time was their operations like they were very structured they knew their tools and they made the most use of them as much as possible like when you think about like when you visualize the roman empire you see this army that's like very well put together like they have like whatever's coming at them they have a formation for it and they're very organized saying we're this is how we're going to respond to what our enemy is doing yeah, they know exactly they know exactly what to do every mm -hmm. time and everyone's on the same page because of the operational exactly. processes in place. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Well, Matt, this is going to be such an incredible presentation and such an incredible summit. I'm so honored and excited to have you as one of our many, we have over 20 expert speakers and you are standing out from the crowd by teaching about operations and how to make the most out of your tools. So if anyone is watching this and they're like, yes, I need to get better at operations. I want to get good at business. You want to go to summit.getgoodatbusiness.com to get your tickets because this event is starting tomorrow. It's tomorrow and Saturday. So March 15th and 16th. But Matt, you have something special for anybody who's watching if they sign up and they put your name as who referred them, they can actually get their tickets for free. Oh yeah, Which just me. I'm special. <laughs> so you want to make sure that if you are vibing with Matt, you're vibing with what we're going to be talking about at the upcoming summit, you want to get your tickets today and you can get them for free by putting Matt's name in the registration section. So again, that is summit dot get good at business dot com. This is a virtual summit for entrepreneurs. So you can attend from the comfort of your own home. We'll be meeting everybody on Zoom tomorrow. So Matt, again, thank you so much for being one of our speakers. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to help promote and give us a presentation preview here today. And everyone who's watching, we will see you tomorrow at the Get Good at Business Summit.